Hello people, in this video let us look at this um, Bedside Clinics in Medicine by Kundu part 1 and this one is part 2. These are very very important books for you to clear your medicine practically, history taking, case presentation etc. So clinics, uh, this uh, part 1 is quite a huge book compared to part 2. Part 2 what they are saying is has only x-rays, drugs, specimens mostly like your uh, table viva. And uh, this one is having your long and short spot cases. So this one is very, very important to, for you to carry every day to your postings, isn't it? So just look at this book overall. Very pinky book, pink, pink, with some images which are not placed with the text. It's more like a plate. What do they call this? Atlas. So, I always like the image being beside the text, you know, it is, it registers better in the mind. And again here you can see that this is a question answer format which is very good for your viva. How do you assess motor functions in neurology? So you will check bulk of the muscle, tone of the muscle, power of the muscle, coordination, involuntary movement. So this question answer type gives us a little confidence, isn't it, to face the viva. So now let us look at some case here, nephrotic syndrome. So what is there? What is your diagnosis? Okay, sir, it is nephrotic syndrome. Why do you say it is nephrotic syndrome? Because what is there here? Swelling all over the body means what? Edema, generalized edema, right? Then face is puffy. This indicates renal cause, isn't it? Then what else? Urine examination is showing what? Albumin in the urine. So that is saying proteinuria, isn't it? So renal edema, periorbital plus genital plus generalized edema. So renal edema will be periorbital, generalized edema will be there, even genitals involved. So this is a clue that they are giving you, right? So what is nephrotic syndrome? What happens here? What is the pathogenesis? Everything you will have to know as they are giving you question answer type, which is very nice to read, isn't it? Let's look at some images here. What are they trying to show here? Multiple erythema nodosum. Sarcoidosis. These books are very, very useful for you because your alagappan and all is more about clinical examination. It will not help you clear your viva based on the case when they are taking. So if you want to clear your if you want to pass, no, you have to clear your long case. Mainly you have to pass the long case. So for long case, what will they ask you? Treatment, differential diagnosis. You should know that. That's very important. Okay. So I think these and all are short cases only. Okay. So your long cases will be your CVS, RS, GI and nervous system. There are only four systems, isn't it? Okay, there are more. Genitourinary system, locomotor, lymphoreticular, miscellaneous. See, these four they didn't give us. Mainly we had these four. And if long case is from cardiovascular, then you'll get short cases. Uh, these short cases, if there are two short cases, they'll pick the other systems. So basically, you should know all the systems. Okay. So in cardiovascular system, what will you get? Mitral stenosis, aortic stenosis. Okay. They're focusing more on the mitral and the aortic valve looks like, isn't it? Respiratory, what will you get? Pleural effusion. Mainly, I got emphysema, isn't it? Why isn't it there here? Why didn't they put? Okay. COPD. That only is emphysema they, they have written here. Oh, under bronchial asthma, they have covered it, they are saying. Okay. Then, GI, you will get pyloric stenosis, viral hepatitis, cirrhosis of liver. So, these two again are liver. Pyloric stenosis, something to do with stomach, isn't it? Carcinoma of stomach, they are saying. Nervous system, you will get hemiplegia, paraplegia. Nervous system is very complicated according to me. <clears throat> Lower motor neuron lesion, upper motor neuron lesion. How can you uh, differentiate all that, they will ask. Very important. Then this, these four systems we didn't get in our exam. At least not in the long cases. Short cases, again, what and all you will have. Like I told you, whatever you didn't get in long, that can become short system wise. So you can get fibrosis of lung, collapse of the lung, etc. 
ascites, abdominal lump, hepatosplenomegaly. In short cases, usually they will not allow you to take history. You will have to only do clinical examination, but not sure how it will be for you. And there are a lot of spotters they are seeing in this. Very nice, right? Even spotters. Spot cases they are seeing. Something like spot cases. Okay. So please uh, use this book for passing your medicine um, practical. Because um, uh, when you read Alagappan etc., you don't get the complete picture of that case. So that uh, this these books are very very useful. Now let us look at the second volume, second part. Like they are saying, it is um, X-ray drugs specimens, more like your table viva, isn't it? So look at this. Liver biopsy needle. Okay, this book is not having real images, which is bad, isn't it? X-ray is a real image. Okay, real images are again in these kind of atlas, what they are calling. Radiology. See, X-ray is no, you should know. As soon as they show you something, you should be able to say air fluid level or, or uh, um, uh, fibrosis, all that, abscess. It's very important to see. This is a chest X-ray. It looks like a normal chest X-ray, isn't it? Now let us look at some other x-rays. What is this emphysema? How do you say it's emphysema? Did they also, they should put two points here as to say why it is emphysema. Why is this bronchiectasis? Isn't it? Left-sided lung abscess. Okay, this is left. Okay, I can see an air fluid level here. So that tells them it's an abscess. Okay, this is a very huge one according to me. So these books are really useful to, okay, ECG basics are also there which is very nice. Images as such are not clear, it's very black and white. So that is something that they could have worked upon, isn't it? This looks like a very poor quality print. However, this book is very, very useful to clear your medicine practical. And it is also question answer format, which is very, very good, isn't it? So in this video, we have covered these two books, part 1 and part 2, Arup Kumar Kundu. Looks like this is 6th edition, you need to check if there is an 8th edition in this. Okay. Make your choice people. Bye-bye.